Watch your back, Taylor. Watch your back, T. Watch your asses out there. Set in the rough and dangerous waters of the Bering Sea, the TV show Deadliest Catch had become a favourite of viewers worldwide. It gives a raw look at the dangerous world of crab fishing, and one boat that fans really love is the Cornelia Marie. It has a rich history filled with drama and danger, which keeps fans coming back each season. However, when the show's 19th season came around, fans were confused because Cornelia Marie was missing, just like it was in season 13. People wondered where the boat had gone and why it had disappeared from the show that it made it famous. So without further ado, let's reveal what happened to Cornelia Marie from The Deadliest Catch. Alrighty, well all the boats are loaded on and now it's time to go to the cross. We got our intel, it's going to take uh, probably a full day at about 9 knots. The fishing vessel Cornelia Marie is a legend in the Bering Sea crab fishing fleet. The 39 meter long crab vessel was featured on the Discovery Channel documentary series Deadliest Catch. It was the most featured boat on the show and was known for her hard working crew, a relentless captain and her ability to produce big catches. The Cornelia Marie was built in 1989 for Ralph Collins and named after his wife. In 1990, Phil Harris, a seasoned crab fisherman, bought a partial share of the boat. Harris and Collins quickly became close friends and business partners. Harris took over as captain of the Cornelia Marie in 1998. He was known for his demanding work ethic and his fierce determination to catch as much crab as possible. Harris was also a skilled fisherman and a natural leader. He was able to get the most out of his crew, even in the most challenging conditions. Cornelia Marie made her debut on Deadliest Catch in 2005. The show quickly became a hit and the Cornelia Marie became one of the most popular boats in the fleet. The show followed the crew as they battled the Bering Sea's treacherous weather and unpredictable seas in search of crab. This boat was known for her dangerous fishing practices, but she was also known for her success. Harris and his crew consistently produced some of the biggest catches in the fleet. In 2010, a tragedy struck Cornelia Marie. Captain Phil Harris suffered from a heart stroke and died on the vessel. His loss was a devastating blow to the Deadliest Catch family. However, Harris's sons, Josh and Jake, decided to carry on their father's legacy. They purchased the Cornelia Marie and continued to fish the Bering Sea. In the world of reality TV, it's not unusual for shows like Deadliest Catch to see many stars come and go over the years. The show has featured various fishing vessels, some of which have been forgotten. The Cornelia Marie, fortunately, is not one of those forgotten ships. However, in 2016, Cornelia Marie was left out of the show for the first time since its debut in the first season. This caused rumours to circulate, with some suggesting that the crew's demands were too much for Discovery, the network that airs the show. But Captain Josh Harris denied these rumours at the time, explaining in a Facebook Live video that it was not his decision to leave the show and that it had nothing to do with money. He emphasised that Discovery had creative control over the series and they respected that. Josh also expressed his regret at not getting to spend more time with the show's filming staff whom he considered family. The exact reasons for Discovery's decision to leave the Cornelia Marie out of the series in 2016 are not known, but it's likely that fan requests played a role in the vessel's return in the following season. And the show returned in season 14 with Josh and co-captain Casey McManus on the Cornelia Marie. During the break, Josh faced family problems like his grandfather's death and his brother Jake's troubles. They tried to buy the boat after their father, Phil Harris, passed away but couldn't. Josh had to be with family members in the hospital, so filming wasn't possible. They hoped Jake would return to crabbing once he overcame his issues. Cornelia Marie was still part of the show when its 17th season started in early 2021, and it was also the focus of two seasons of a spin-off called Bloodline that premiered in 2020. While things have been positive for the boat, its crew has faced some tough times. In June 2021, the Cornelia Marie encountered extremely high waves in the Bering Sea, described as taller than a house. Fortunately, the vessel didn't suffer serious damage and no one was hurt, but it was a traumatic experience. Harsh weather conditions are not uncommon for fishermen. 
Later in October 2021, the Cornelia Marie was struck by lightning while sailing in Louisiana. The ship's guide, Jeff Silver, reported the incident, and luckily no one was seriously injured. However, they lost their stabilizing system cameras, and it's unclear if the Discovery Channel's filming crew was on board at the time. Now, despite these challenges, the Cornelia Marie has been doing well, but fans of Deadliest Catch were surprised in the 17th season when they saw that Josh Harris was no longer the captain of his father's vessel. Instead, he was on the crab fishing boat Time Bandit. So why did this change happen? Josh had been the captain of the Cornelia Marie since 2014, but before that, he spent a couple of seasons under the command of Jonathan Hillstrand, who was a friend of his father Phil and the captain of Time Bandit. His time on Time Bandit was short, but it was a positive experience and he developed a strong friendship with Jonathan. So when Jonathan asked Josh to spend a season on Time Bandit, Josh couldn't say no, even though he initially thought it was a joke. Well, Josh's position as co-captain on Time Bandit was not a long-term commitment. He was there only for the King Crab and Barty seasons before returning to the Cornelia Marie. During his absence, his longtime co-captain, Casey McManus, did a great job at the helm of the Cornelia Marie. Everything was going well despite the obstacles, but in the 19th season of The Deadliest Catch, everyone's favorite boat disappeared from sight. The boat was no longer part of the show, and it was a sad spectacle for its fans. However, there were a couple of reasons behind its retirement. Captain Josh was fired from the show in 2022 after it was revealed that he'd been arrested for something he did in the past. Besides this, Cornelia Marie was built in 1989 and she was starting to show her age. The vessel had been through a lot over the years and she was no longer as safe or reliable as she once was. In order to continue fishing safely, the Cornelia Marie would have required significant maintenance and repairs. This would have been a costly investment for the show's producers. Josh Harris has said it was difficult for him to balance his family life with his career as a crab fisherman. He often had to spend weeks or even months away from his family while fishing the Bering Sea. He also realized that he could make a good living from his other business ventures, which would allow him to spend more time with his family. He also felt a lot of pressure to live up to his father's legacy, and he found it difficult to cope with the loss of his father. Moreover, the crab quotas in the Bering Sea have been declining in recent years, making it more difficult for fishermen to make a living. The quotas have been reduced in order to protect the crab populations and to ensure the sustainability of the crab fishing industry. However, the reduced quotas have also made it more difficult for fishermen to earn a living. So, it was decided that with Josh Harris, the chapter of Cornelia Marie will also be closed. Now, according to vessel tracking data, the Cornelia Marie is currently docked in Dutch Harbour, Alaska. It arrived there on October the 19th, 2023 and has remained there since. And for the show producers, the decision to retire Cornelia Marie was not an easy one. As Josh is concerned that he's focusing on his family and his other business ventures and he's no longer living in the shadow of his father's legacy. So, with the end of his passion, the career of Cornelia Marie in the show also came to an end.